Welcome everybody to AT&T Cable Services and Family Ties Production Mac 2000 Game of the Week here on Channel 73. I'm Cy Robinson and a very tardy Jeff Manders along with Jess Medina on camera. And we're here tonight joining the Bettendorf Bulldogs at Davenport Central. And both teams coming in here with brand new coaches this, this year. Uh, Randy Scott, the longtime assistant coach over at uh, Bettendorf, has taken over the reins from Merv Hobbinick, who's retired from Bettendorf, now an ass assistant over at Assumption High School. And Chuck Culver, the brand new coach over at the Central Blue Devil Land, comes to us from Kansas. He uh, is a former Kansas State football player, coached at Kansas State and Oklahoma, so some great experience from that young man in here. And we're looking forward to a fine football game as we get ready for the kickoff. Randy Scott, 1-0 on his young coaching career, and Chuck Culver, 0-1 as Central took a lump last week and Bettendorf enjoyed a big victory. So we'll get started here shortly. Ready for the kickoff here at Brady Street Stadium. A beautiful football night. Beautiful field. As David Hanlon lines up for the kickoff. Blue Devils too deep. Very high kick into the end zone. There'll be no run back. Ball fielded by Frankie March about five yards deep in the end zone. And the Blue Devils will take over first down on their own 20 yard line. Just underway. So it appears as though uh, Bettendorf hasn't lost much in the kicking game as far as a kickoff person is uh, concerned. Put a lot of points on the board last week versus Clinton. Out of the huddle. Quarterback for Central, Aaron Michael. Trips to one side, back to throw, and nobody over to block defensive end number 81 for the Bulldogs. Greg Stecker was in on Michael before he even got ready to go. So a long formation, or excuse me, a long uh, loss on a play of about eight, seven yards. Second and 17. Central back to throw early. Aaron Michael, one of the fine throwing quarterbacks in the league last year. And they're going to put that up, put them to the test again this year. Central split all over the field. Trips left. Pressure again from Greg Stecker, number 81, who made the sack earlier. That's two in a row. At that rate, he'll be the sack leader early in the season. Third and 22. Central's going to have to get a blocker over on number 81, Becker, or he'll be in the backfield all night long. Bettendorf in their familiar 50 defense, 50 front. Slot formation and the give inside to Justin Harris. Maybe a yard gain, be fourth and a whole bunch. And illegal procedure. Justin Harris on the carry. Gain of one, met there by the center. Nope, evidently referee's just keeping the clock going there. 10 minutes and running back to punt for Central. Jeff Wearson, good left-footed kicker. And Bettendorf should have excellent field position as the kick is high and short. And down at their inside their own 30-yard line, Bettendorf will take over. First down on the central 28-yard line. A great opportunity for the Bulldogs early in the game. Nick Cavill coming in at quarterback for the Bulldogs. Jake Miller, the big center, breaks him out of the huddle. Yeah. 
Cavill gives to Bribriesco over the middle, not much there. Excuse me, Andy Parker on the carry. And had a little face mask tangle up. Second and ten. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> Andy Parker at the tailback for the Bulldogs. Mike Pisano up at the fullback position is kind of an offset eye motion across the formation by Sean Meyer. And again, good defensive line play by the Blue Devils. Parker for about a yard loss, making it about third and 11 at the 29 yard line of Central. So Central putting on a good display of defense early. Into the game for Bendorf is Matt Drinkall, the fine running back from a year ago. Drinkall moved to the flanker back this year. Bendorf in a wide slot. Back to throw a little flare out to Parker. Got some room. He'll go out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. 21 yard line that'll bring a fourth and about three. So we'll see what the Bettendorf elects to do here. Sean Meyer bringing the play in for Bettendorf. And they elect to go for the first down. Double tight ends and they'll get their first down with without running a play because Central got a little anxious and appeared to jump offside. First down Bettendorf and really a bad mistake right here for Central. They played a very good set of downs right there defensively held Bettendorf. And now the Bulldogs first and 10 on the central 16. Cavill gives to Parker. Two yards on the carry. Two yards on the carry by Andy Parker. Second there by number 77, John Fox. 8.30 and running on the clock. Second and eight. Play in for Bettendorf, number 86, Jeff Reckman. As Drinkall comes to the near side. And the throw by Cavill and wide open in the end zone is Matt Drinkall. Touchdown, Bulldogs. 6 0, just like that. Number 14, Nick Cavill to number 22. So Cavill to drink all 6-0, 753 on the clock. And Jess Lowenberg will attempt to point after. Extra point will be held by Chris Stoll, number six. And the kick is good with 7.53 left in the first quarter here at Brady Street Stadium. Bettendorf takes an early 7 to nothing lead. We're back at Brady Street. As David Hanlon kicks it deep and high, there will be no return as long as the ball crosses the plane of the goal line. There's no return in high school football. So another fine weapon by the Bulldogs in having a kickoff person who can just rip it into the end zone. High and deep. 
So Central first down at their own 20. Got into a little bit of trouble the first series on the really kind of a poor punt. Well, we've got trips formation here. Michael back. And he is surrounded and snatched up by two or three Bulldogs led by uh, number 82, Taylor Hess. Lost five yards on the sack. Four yard loss on the sack. So five, five, second and 14. And number 70, Mike Thunderbrook. Into the game for Central. Mark Prachar, 6'2", senior. Pretty good crowd on hand tonight for tonight's game. The trips formation again. Michael back in a shotgun formation. And again. Central or Michael sacked by number 82 by Taylor Hess and and John Sarinsky. So a very fine thrower Michael but when you don't have time to get the ball in the air it ain't going to happen. Third and 22. Michael under center. And the give is to the fullback, Frankie March. And Central, Central forced a punt again. Wearson, Jeff Wearson back to kick for the Blue Devils. And again, Bettendorf will have super field position. Nice booming punt fielded by Parker at the 43 yard line got a little room to the outside and brought out of bounds at about the 35 yard line of Central and again we're talking good field position first down Bulldogs on their Central 35 yard line. John Fouts on the tackle. And Cavill back at quarterback. Drink all splits out into this flanker position. Double tight ends again by the Bulldogs. Have not changed from this offense at all. They give to Parker, and we've got a little motion going on in the backfield, it appears. After about a five yard gain, will be nulla flight, I believe. Referee chatting with Mike Kowitzel, one of the Blue Devil captains. And it'll be first and 15. So first and 15 for the Bulldogs at the Davenport Central 40 yard line. Reckman brings the play in. Reckman and Brian cut right the two tight ends. Parker over the left side. He'll pick up what they just lost on the penalty. Second and 10. Andy Parker, five yards on the carry. Second by number 55, Troy Doray, and number 24, Paul. Setting a few of the offensive linemen for <laughs> Bettendorf, the guys that work hard up front and don't get a lot of ink coming out of the huddle. Jake Miller, the center. Brent Miller, number 66. Drew Dennis, number 72. Drink all across the formation. And a little bootleg play, and Drink all is open deep as is. Cut right and overthrown just a little bit. Both receivers had a step or two on the defenders. But Cavill throws it a little bit high. Come 
Third and ten for the Bulldogs. Sean Meyer in with the play. Some more of the linemen, uh, number 76, Paul Gerskis for the Bulldogs, along with number 79, John Shabillion. Back to throw. Nicely thrown ball, and I'm sure Parker would think he probably should have caught that. Nicely thrown football. That'll bring up fourth down at the central 35-yard line. So a good, good defensive stand by the Blue Devils. We'll see if Coach Randy Scott elects to go for it here. We think, think they're in four-down territory at the 35, and it looks like they're going to go for it as Danny Phillips, number 15, brings into play. Trips formation by Bettendorf, and again, good defensive coverage by the defensive backs of Central, and that was, that'll bring a first and 10 situation for Davenport Central, and we'll break. And we're back, first down Blue Devils. Central, wide trips, wide formation. Split in to the right. Quick screen to the left side and pass complete to Jeff Wearson. And he'll pick up a couple yards. Central coming out in a throwing formation as we pick up uh, now we got a slot formation and met hard on the right side by several Bulldogs. Bottom of the pile was uh, Taylor Hess. Frankie March on the carry, lost a yard. It'll be third and nine. So Central, uh, this is as far as they've been up the field so far tonight. Little inside trap and a nice hole there, but closed up rather quickly by number 43. Zach Gableman. So fourth and eight for the Blue Devils, but at least if they get a good punt by Wearson here, they won't give the field position they've been given uh, all first quarter. 2.46 to go here in the first quarter. Got a little equipment problem by... Uh, John Zarinski. Zarinski, the 6'3", 235-pound nose guard. Central and punt formation. Wearson, a pretty good punt, fielded by Parker at his own 35, and good job coverage that time by Ryan Mao of the Blue Devils, a junior punt coverer. So finally, the Blue Devils uh, back the Bulldogs up at least a little bit. They're still pretty good field position on their own 35-yard line. So first and 10 Bulldogs at their 35-yard line with 227 here in the first quarter. Double tights. Here's the inside trap by Bettendorf and a good hole over the left side. Ball carried by Mike Pisano, the fullback. Second and three. Mike Pisano on the carry. We go of eight yards. Reckman in with the play. Bettendorf now in a straight up eye formation. And a lead. Our isolation play will get them a first down across the 45 to about the 46 yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Good for five yards and 
Clock starts with 1.45 to go. Play coming in by Danny Phillips, number 15. Again, the outside lead to Parker, and we get a couple of a couple of yards up to about the 48. Second and about eight. Well, Drinkall moved to flanker back this year. Was a fine running back last year and kind of wonder how long they might stay with that, with that setup. Inside lead to Parker. No gain. Maybe a yard loss. And Central, Central has shown some tough defense from tackle to tackle tonight so far in this football game. 40 seconds and counting. Be third and about uh, eight. So let's see what uh, the Bulldogs come up with here with third and long. And we got a wide slot formation or twins to the right. Cavill back to throw, got time, and good defense, good pass defense by number 24 from Davenport Central, Paul Austin, the 5'10 senior. Pass intended for Brian Cutright, and Austin was all over him. Cutright looks like he got about a foot advantage height-wise, but Austin right there to make the play. And we'll see a punt formation. North Scott coaches say there's a punt block coming, and Bulldogs able to get the ball off. Fair catch signal given by John Myers of the Blue Devils, and the Blue Devils will take over first down on their own 19-yard uh, line. So a good. Good defensive stand again by the Blue Devils with 1.2 seconds on the clock. So we'll get one more play here before the quarter ends. Seven zip Bulldogs. There hasn't been many penalties in this ball game. One five yard penalty cost the uh, Blue Devils early. The option play to Frankie March and he'll lose uh, you probably lose four to five on that play. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter with a pretty good football game right here with the Bettendorf Bulldogs winning seven to nothing. We're back at Brady Street Stadium, AT&T Cable Services and Family Ties Production, the MAC 2000 game of the week on Channel 73, and we got a pretty good football game going right here with the Bulldogs leading the Blue Devils seven to nothing, starting the second quarter. Second and about 14 for the Blue Devils, and back to throw is Michael, and he's got an arm, and there's a flag on a play, and Michael is stuck pretty good over across on the far side by. Adam Lamar. So we'll see what the penalty's about. Aaron on the for no In the cold area, I would guess. Well, Si, up to this point, Danforth Central has played excellent defense. And if it wasn't for that mistake, that penalty. One year of one, they jumped off sides. They jumped down off there, sides. This could be really a zero zero yep. game. You bet. 
but they just haven't been able to get the offense off the ground. Mm -hmm. They're uh, obviously, you know, I don't think they have probably any yards offensively, but a uh, few sacks mm -hmm. early in the game. Michael back to throw and never had time to even get the ball off. So well, they, they appear to be doing the opposite of what the book says. You mm -hmm. know, they usually try to try to produce a running game before they try the pass. Mm -hmm. And in, in this game mm -hmm. so far, Central has tried to open it up with the pass. Indeed. All right, a holding penalty on Central is declined. They'll make it third and 13. And this is Michael on the draw. And that's Frankie March on the carry and uh, no gain at all. So they're testing the middle a little bit to uh, no success and fourth and 12. And Wearson will be back for about his fourth or fifth punt of the night. Parker, Andy Parker back for the Bulldogs to receive. And Wearson has been a little sporadic tonight, but he can really rip it. Good snap. And a decent punt fielded by Parker on his own 44-yard line. Got a little opening to the right side. And finally brought down across the field over on the far side at the 38 yard line. Well, that was just really unfortunate for Central <laughs> because they had their hands on him and the, and the other defender the, came and knocked his own man off. Really, the two defenders blocked each other as they, they kind of hit each other. They were both right there for the tackle and didn't make the play. At any rate, first down, Bulldogs on the Blue Devil 38 yard line. Again, an excellent field, field position and they've had it all night. Drink all across the formation in motion. Here's the sweep to the near side. This is Parker and we got a flag and Parker's knocked out of bounds the 34 yard line, but that's gonna be another hold by the Bulldogs, I assume. Yeah, I think one of the blockers out front uh, held. Mm -hmm. It was really kind of behind the play, it looked like to me, too. But So I would assume that Central will take this penalty because that will make it first and first and about... Uh, Na, uh, 19, first and 19 on the Blue Devil 47 yard line. Cavill gets the play from Jeff Reckman. And we set some defensive people for the Blue Devils. Number 77, John Fouts, a 6'3, 240 pound lineman. back to throw and again good pass coverage Jess I 20 number 29 over on the coverage uh, Landon Murray all over drink call well I think the adrenaline for the Bettendorf quarterback is running a little bit high tonight mm -hmm. because he's just been mm -hmm. he's overthrowing just a little bit just as well that ball was overthrown because it might have been picked yeah right Second and uh, 19 for the Bulldogs inside Blue Devil territory. 10:38 on the clock in the second quarter here at Brady Street Stadium. Cavill back to throw, swings it out to Parker, and good defense out there, but tackles are missed. Oh, coach's nightmare right here. Fumble. Central's got it. And oh, let's see. I think so. I thought Central had the referee it. indicates oh, oh, ben indicates Bettendorf retains the ball. Well, <laughs> boy, Central defenders had him in the backfield. Jess yeah. uh, didn't make the play. He goes down the field, almost 19 yards, fumbles the ball, and then, as luck would have it, they recover the fumble. Well, so. I think I think the Central player had it and. Ben North player from underneath came yep, up with it. Just come up with it. So third and two. A nice job running there by Andy Parker. You got to give him credit. Scrambled. Yeah. 
Parker right side uh, isolation play I'll be close to a first down. And it looks from here to be a first down and it is. Yep. So the Bulldogs on a 17 yard run by Parker and. Uh, a good hard run by Parker brings the Bulldogs down to the 27 yard line first and 10. Cavill sets Drinko in motion. Here's a play we saw a few minutes ago. Parker tries to turn it up. Nothing there. But got some room outside and he is brought down at the 15 yard line finally by uh, Landon Murray. So again another first down. Well Parker is capable of breaking one. Mm -hmm. uh, if I remember right uh, at this stadium last year he ran a real long one back but I don't remember against who. But he is capable of breaking one. He's had a couple field days. Last year. So first down at the Blue Devil 15. Parker and Pisano the up back. Here's a Pisano on the inside trap. Big hole. Pisano down to the three yard line on the inside trap play. And now the Bettendorf linemen are starting to rise occasionally. Get a little fire under them. And we got third and goal at the, about the four yard line. Bettendorf size becomes a factor. And As they are big up front, Davenport Central not small though. Maurice Harris, 6'3", 280. So they got some big people. Parker, right side, nice run. Just off of, looking like he was gonna go off tackle, nothing there. Cut it back to the inside. And touchdown, Parker. From the four yard line, so 13-0. Well, that As. time Bettendorf was able to finish it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a second 19, and all of a sudden uh, you give them a first down. That's that takes it out of you, and they got to rise above that if they're going to play and win. Lowenberg and the PAT is good, so the Bulldogs will take a 14 to nothing lead with 8:48 to go here in the second quarter at Brady Street Stadium and we'll take a break. Fourteen oh and kick not quite as deep this time by Hanlon and carrying a ball that time for Central was uh, March Frankie March and he returns it up to a 20 yard line. So first down Blue Devils and they need to get something going here. Lineman in the offensive lineman in the game for the Blue Devils. John Fouts number 77. Center Mike Bushlow number 60 and also a captain. Troy door number 55. Michael back to throw and John Myers looked open had a step but uh, Michael threw the ball behind him. So second and 10. Well I, I would have kind of thought they would have tried to do something quick up the middle and go up the field. But they obviously have a lot of confidence. Yeah, the play, look, play looks like it was there. Well, it, it was. Yep. Just a little quick opener out there for that four to five yard gain. Now we got a trips formation with motion back across and we're going to have a forward motion. As uh, Kowitzel came across the formation he turned it upfield a little bit too quick and uh, there'll be whistle for motion I believe. Frankie March on the play. 
and that'll be the case. And probably, uh, I can see Bettendorf probably declining this, Jess. Yeah, I, I agree. Because it's uh, still still going to be third and still going to be third and more than ten, almost twelve. And motion penalty Klein, third and twelve. If Sanker could just at least get one of their passes to go mm -hmm. here. And cool. Michael throws it and didn't get quite enough on it, and it's picked off by Bedendorf. Aaron Jenkins, number 30, I believe. Yeah, so, that's what it was. Yeah, just a ball just a little under thrown he didn't it wasn't quite set couldn't quite get enough on it to get it as far as he needed to throw it but good coverage central needs a buckle it on now before they get too far down so they can stay in this game yeah they need a strong defensive mm -hmm. stand right here they showed they can do it earlier And here's Parker to the left side and defense there, stringing things out. Maybe a yard or two. Parker, uh, pick up a yard. They're there by number 55, Troy Duray, and number 76, Maurice Harris. Troy Duray, number 55, who I believe is a sophomore. Actually, Central had good penetration that time. The uh, one of the men on the outside actually went past him. Mm -hmm. Kind of overran it a little bit. Right. So we got a little equipment timeout, but we're back in play now with 7:38 and counting. As Bettendorf comes up the line of scrimmage, second and nine. Cavill inside trap, wide open. And a big gainer, and with that little inside trap to Pisano, Bettendorf's had their way. Well, the offensive line is starting to assert themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That they are. game. Pisano will take a little break. Uh, Parker still a tailback. This is Bribriesco in for Pisano and Parker on the carry down to about the 17 yard line. Second and seven. Beckman will bring the play in. Excuse me, that's Reckman, not Beckman. Offset eye formation. Trap. Again, inside trap. This is Bribriesco. Anthony Bribriesco carrying the ball. For a gain of a yard or two, third and five, Bulldogs. There was almost a little bit of confusion in the back in the backfield that time by Ben Norf. There was two running backs very close on mm -hmm. the handoff. Mm -hmm. there. Well, the uh, well, we have a timeout right now, so we'll take a timeout. Third and five, Bulldogs. As Cavill sets Drinko in motion, gives him the ball and wide open out to the right side and turns it up for the first down. And he might have possibly gained a few more yards if he just kept running to the outside. But uh, good taking by the quarterback. Mm -hmm. I thought Parker had it. <laughs> well, the Bettendorf's been running drink all across the formation all night long in motion and uh, that time it was timing was beautiful on that play.
Cavill just turned and handed it to the motion man and away he went. There was no one around him. Offset eye formation, double tights. First and goal. Parker right side and this Parker has got some good feet. Touchdown Parker and it didn't look like he was going to score Jess. I thought they had him at about the three. Well, I thought he was going down. Uh -huh. He found his way across the line. Well, Parker, that was a dandy run there. He planted his foot, came to the inside, and just made a couple moves and touched down. Bulldogs 20 nothing. And this will be Lowenberg on the PAT. And a nice job there. Nice job by the holder, uh, Chris Stahl, to get that ball. He, kind of a low snap. He picked the ball up the ground and set it down and, and kicked through. And we'll be back. Well, Jess, as we watched the kickoff, we were commenting there uh, right after before the kick that Central played a really good first quarter and then the second quarter they kind of kind of come unglued here and look out. This is John Myers and uh, luckily for Bettendorf David Hanlon the kicker the safety knocks him out of bounds at the Bettendorf 35 yard line after a fine kickoff return. So a spark of life for the Blue Devils here with John Myers on an excellent kickoff return. Well, that's what Central needed. Now let's see what they can do with they it. They did. They need something to just fire them up a little bit, and that ought to do it. Just get them going again. First and 10 on the Bendor 37-yard line. And the give to Frankie Marks and taken out of bounds at about the 30-yard line and a gain of about uh, six yards. Not only was that a nice run, I think it's the first offensive running play that they've had where they didn't lose yardage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Blue Devils on the move, second and four. Double tights, flanker, single setback, and here's March again up to... Uh, or I should say maybe down to the Bulldog uh, third, or excuse me, 20, eight yard line, third and two. Third and less than two. Plenty of time here for well, Central. Central hasn't mm -hmm. scored. I think this is four yard territory. Mm -hmm. Four down territory. Definitely, definitely. Michael, single back. Gives to March over the right side and he gets to the 27. That's going to be close, but I don't think he made it. I think he's short. And of course, they just moved it back another half yard. Yeah, hey, yeah, they always have to do that. So it'll be exact. It'll be about a yard short. Frankie March is 6'2", 200. Town senior runs hard and he's got some speed and we'll take a timeout. Okay, we're back fourth down in the yard and let's see what first year coach Chuck Culver comes up with here, Jess. Fourth and one. Double tights again. Michael. Quick gets upset. March or the right oh, side and nice I play. Think I think this is going to be close. It's first down. I think it's first down. Ah, they're going to measure it. They're going to measure it. And it's going to be real, real close. We'll stay on with it just to check it out here. And the Blue Devils really need this first down to keep this drive going with 405 going here in the second quarter. He made it. And Jess says they made it and they do. So Blue Devils first down on the Bulldog 27 yard line inside the 27. 
Well, I thought he made it initially, but then that where they marked it. Yeah, it's, just, it's one of those layout things, kind of. Know. Does a ball hit at the same time as the knee? Then he gets that distance, but. If Cedric could score here, it would be huge. Yeah, it would. It would. So we got trips formation with a split receiver on the right with a single single back. Michael's going to throw it and not time to throw it. Are we going to have a face mask or holding? We we'll possibly have a, yeah, I'd say face it's mask. one of the two. Face mask, Bulldogs, and that's a pretty costly penalty there. That's going to be a five-yarder or a 15-yarder? Mm -hmm. Probably be a five. If it's a, well, there's no, there'll be a 15. Will it be 15? Yeah, if it's a face mask. And it's from the from the spot of the foul, so it still won't be a first down. I don't. Well, let's see what we're doing here. I don't know. I I thought there was a new rule that if you touched it, it was five. If it was deliberate, you grabbed it. It was fifteen. I thought. Well, you're obviously right. And we'll check that out and. Uh, at any rate, first and 15 for the Blue Devils. And Michael, Fumble. absolutely no the time, and the Bulldogs it. have that ball. We can make that call from up here. Mike Sunderbush, sorry, Sunderbrook recovers the fumble for the Bulldogs. So an opportunity for the Blue Devils there or not. But Michael has absolutely no time to throw the football. They're either going to have to roll him out and get him out of the formation because they can't block. Right now, they're not blocking the drop back protection. So the Bulldogs, first down on their own, 34. 320 on the clock. And a quick hitter out to the quick, out to uh, number 15, Danny Phillips. Just a quick screen out there. You got a nice block <laughs> by someone. Can't tell you who. You know, but I, I, from what I saw, it looked like an old pick from a basketball play. Oh, the pick play. <laughs> you see the defensive man, the offensive man comes, and the other guy goes on the inside. The pick play. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like the ball was there before the, before the pick happened, at least. All right, second and less than a yard. Here's the Parker. Pitch to Parker and a good defensive play. Looks like uh, Frankie March, number, number 20, 20, was right there. Yep. Good defensive play. Mm -hmm. So third and third and about five, and Central will wants a timeout here, and we'll take a timeout. <laughs> We're back at Brady Street uh, where the Bulldogs enjoy a 21-0 lead. Third and four at about the 40-yard line. Cavill, another quick screen to the opposite side. Picked off. Picked off by Landon Murray, and he'll score. And there's the break the Bulldogs are looking for, Jess. Touchdown, Blue Devils. That was justice for Central. Yeah, it really was. Central played a good last series there and uh, fumbled the football, so that puts them back in this game a little bit and maybe a little bit of fire. It's 21 to 6 with 2.33 to go here in the second quarter. And you can just see that going to happen. Uh, Landon Murray just stepped up and just made a perfect play on the pick. Well, you know, and we've said all along that this did not seem like a 21 That's game. right. Yeah, it just it seems like played a very good. Game that. You bet. As Wearson lines up for the extra point. And kick is up and good. 21-7. So we might have ourselves a little ball game here, Jess. Well, I always said defense wins football games. Well, Central has played very good defense. Yes, they have. They've played very well. They've made uh, about two or three real key mistakes that have cost them some, some points. At any rate, 
Bulldogs have time on the clock. We'll see uh, see how the old two minute offense goes here as Wearson tees it up deep for the Bulldogs will be drink all number 22 in the middle along with uh, Aaron Jenkins on the while far we're, side. Oh, we have a little bit of time. You want to mention mm -hmm. the coaching staffs for, for the teams? Uh, say again? The coaching staffs. Oh, my fault. You bet. Good idea. Assistant, uh, we mentioned Chuck Culver first year. Uh, Fred Harris, Vince Jackson, uh, Gaden Ross, and Rick Vallant, central assistants. And over on the Bulldog side, assistant coaches Aaron Wiley, Kevin Freaking, Brian Barquis, Chad Rimmert, Mark Goodwin, and Greg Meyer. And Wearson. Must be offsides. I see a flag at the other side. Booms the kick, but yeah, we got a penalty on it. Well, you know, they got a little bit pumped and they were ready to go. Yeah, that's right, they're ready. So after the offside penalty, Central will back up five and kick it from their 35. Parker and Jenkins, the two ups receivers uh, with drink all deep. Wearson kicks a really high drink all at the 10, waiting on his blocks to develop, and pretty good coverage by the Blue Devils there. Number 61. Mm -hmm. Number 61, tackle made by, uh, let me check my program, Brent Willett. And number two. Six foot, 185 pound senior, mm -hmm. and along with James Green, the 5'9, 160 pound junior. So we'll see if uh, the Blue Devils can play some defense here. We'll see if the two-minute offense by the Bulldogs comes about. 2.27 on the clock. 21 to 7. Let's see if Ben North wants to try their passing game. Uh-huh. Quick pitch to Parker over the right side. Got some room. And across the 32, about the 37-yard line. Parker's getting a workout tonight, Jess. He's well, Parker, carried the ball a lot of times. You, you know, Parker rarely has gone directly into the line. He kind of glides mm -hmm. to the right. Mm -hmm. And his, uh, he can really cut back to his left. He's yeah. really quick at doing that. He likes to run to his right. Looks pretty obvious. Second and two. Oh, yeah. Good defense by the Blue Devils along the left side. And I'll tell you what, Justin Harris took on a blocker there and did just what he's supposed to do. Just stuff that play coming at him. It seems like they're doing it on the, the right side of their defense, but they're having a little problem with it on their left side. So no gain, third and two Bulldogs. 120 on the clock and running. Bednorf in a straight up eye this time. Inside trap, here's Pazano. And first down to about the 42 yard line. Looks like Pazano's Mr. Inside uh -huh. and Parker's Mr. Outside. Well, Pazano is a good sized fullback at uh, six foot 220, and he's hard to bring down. <laughs> 1 minute on the clock. Cavill pitches to Parker, a little room over the right side. Parker on a foot race on the outside with Landon Murray and Murray finally brought him out of bounds at the at the Blue Devil 24 yard line. With 37 well, yard carry by Parker. Well, somebody had a shot at him once again in the backfield, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and he just gave that burst of speed just enough to get by. That he did, and the speed of Landon Murray uh, caught him otherwise. 
Landon Murray uh, just a little bit of an angle but still showing a showing some good speed to run uh, Parker down first down on the 24. Cavill swing. back to throw here comes a swing. And, oh what a hit. You could just see that coming Jess. And number seven seen it coming yep. too. Yep. Parker on the swing pass very vulnerable there looking back to receive the ball and Justin Harris put a lick on Parker and, and he made Parker, him pay he, for that. He got a little wind. Yes he did. He's, he's well, I thought he was leaving. He is. Yep. And he'll go out of the game here and uh, catch his win the rest of the half I'm sure. But if I'll Parker's tell you what. If Parker's defense though well, your quarterback shouldn't leave you hanging. <laughs> well it's a swing pass and uh, it needs to be thrown a little bit more head and to the outside but uh, Justin Harris read that play perfectly and just put a rip on Parker back to throw Cavill a lot of time wide open this is cut right caught at the three yard 20 line. and brought down out of bounds at the three yard line with 25 seconds on the clock and that was a nice play and a nice job by Cavill looking for his receivers. Kind of looked like a, like a fire drill. That was his last receiver mm -hmm. he was looking mm -hmm. for. All right, I don't know how many timeouts there are left for Bettendorf, but it's first down, on, first and goal on the three. Cavill. And this is Pisano almost to the goal line. And Bettendorf immediately calls a timeout. Let's see where they spot this ball. Ball is spotted inside the one, Jess, right maybe a couple feet from the goal line. <coughs> and the Blue Devils, a good comeback here. And this will be too bad if they allow this touchdown because they got themselves back in the game. And we'll see what uh, Coach Culver comes up with defensively as Randy Scott comes up offensively. I would uh, I would guess Pisano over the middle. Yeah. You? <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're not keeping track of timeouts, so we don't know what they got left. All right. Well, yeah, Pisano Parker, they've been the workhorse all night. For yep. These guys. Jake Miller brings them up to the line of scrimmage. And this is Pisano, and yep. he'll score over the top. And touchdown, Bulldogs. So 27 to 7 here with 14 6 left in the half as uh, Lowenberg comes out for the PAT. Lowenberg, the junior kicker, takes over for the uh, graduated Justin Lang and a fine, fine kicker. Now down to Western Illinois, I believe. And the ball is down. And the score, 28-7 Bulldogs with 14.6 seconds left here in the half. All right, as we watch uh, Hanlon kick off, this is uh, number 80 with the ball. And he got a little room. Got a little room and finally brought out of bounds uh, across the 50 yard line with 4.7 seconds on the clock. Another fine return by John Myers and the Bulldogs are gonna have to shore that up a little bit. So the well, Blue Devils will have time for one more play. If Ben Norville showed a weakness, that's what it's been tonight. Yeah, it has their, their, their uh, special out teams. Yeah, they're out kicking their coverage on the kickoffs it looks like. Earlier, uh, Hannon was just blowing the ball in the end zone, but a little wind in his face coming from the south end of the field here. So one more play. Michael lines him up in a trips formation. And again, again, 
Not a whole lot of blocking on the left side of the Blue Devil line. Uh, they're just getting a little bit out quick over there. And just a little bit of comment before we break here. You got to kind of feel bad for the Blue Devils because they played a pretty good half, really, yes, except for a little bit of breakdown. But they're going to go in the locker room down 28 to 7, led by the Bettendorf Bulldogs. And we'll be back for the second half. Welcome back, everybody, to the second half of football here at Brady Street Stadium, where the Bettendorf Bulldogs have taken a 28 to 7 lead over the Davenport Central Blue Devils, and we're just about set for the kickoff. AT&T Cable Services and Family Ties Productions bringing you the MAC Game of the Week on Channel 73. And later on, we'll talk about some possibly some players of the game that we can have a few comments on. Also, like to thank. Mr. Marty Lance from the uh, Davenport Central Blue Devil Activities Office for allowing us in the press box room space for our telecast as the seconds tick off for the second half here. Blue Devils allowed a late touchdown with about five seconds to go in the second half. So we'll see how that affects him. It's a 28 to 7 ball game. And here is the kick by Wearson. Booming kick. There'll be no return. Caught by Drinkall. Or I should say let go by Drinkall in the end zone. Got just a little bit of wind blowing out of the north, I think, tonight. But these kickers are pretty good. So first down Bulldogs at their own 20. As Jake Miller, the Bulldog center, and opens up with a little trap inside. Here's Parker over the left side. And as we left the late in the second half, Parker uh, took a pretty good hit on a pass play, but he's back in the game and he looked pretty good there. He just picked up eight yards. So once again, he glides left, he glides right. He does. He he's He's a shifty character on the football field. Let me clarify that. We sure hear that he's a fine, upstanding citizen. No, <laughs> that's true. All right, I formation. Parker, isolation play. First down, Bulldogs. Up to about the 33 yard line. Try to set some defensive players for the Blue Devils. Chuck Dorder, Doder, uh, number 55, the sophomore. Number 66. Take a Jess, number 66. Alpedio Cantu. All right. I got it. First down. Parker, Parker right side not much there but he might get he might make a little bit out of it which he did and he wound up picking up about five yards Parker looking pretty shifty out there coach boy he does yep he is hard to bring down because just when you think you mm -hmm. have him he's he's gone his ability to cut is uh, he really looks good doing that I can see why now uh, drink all was moved to the wide when they got uh, the running ability of Parker with the big fullback uh, Pazano in front of him. Here's uh, Cavill given to Parker left side again. 
And pretty good D there, a couple yards, maybe a yard and a half, two yard gain. Nice tackle by number nine for Central. Colin Davis on the tackle for the Blue Devils. And Ta tackle him low just like you're supposed yes, to. Yes, picture book, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And the far left side is uh, Frankie March at the left end. Number 76 and near side is Maurice Harris. How many games have we seen where a play just like that where somebody would try to tackle him around the shoulders? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work very good. Inside trap, defense nicely. Looks like the Blue Devils have shored that up a little bit. That play uh, with Pisano carrying the ball in the first half went to some pretty good yardage. So a one yard gain and Bedendorf will have to punt this ball from just their own. A, just a host of Blue Devils yeah, in that play. a bunch of them. So a good defensive stand there by the Blue Devils and they'll, they'll force the Bedendorf to punt the ball. This is Kirk Peterson back in punt formation. Now see if they use the old trickery to draw them off sides here. Nope. And a high wobbly kick fair caught by John Myers of the Blue Devils and they'll take over at their own 34 yard line first and 10. Did I see a referee go down? Uh, I missed it. <laughs> I thought as I was panning on the camera I saw a ref go down. Oh, I missed it. If he did, if he did, he wasn't down long. Most of these guys are pretty agile in the striped shirts. And the North Scott coaches got a chuckle out of that one as they're <laughs> sitting here scouting tonight beside us. <laughs> we won't mention any names, Clint. First down, Blue Devils on the 29 yard line. Well, let's see if they start off with the pass again. Mm -hmm. Mike. left side to Frankie March I believe he might get a yard Frankie March on the carry. try to set some defensive linemen for the uh, Bulldogs these guys don't get their name mentioned too much either number 73 John Kleinsmith number 82 Taylor Hess number 32 32 one of the linebackers is uh, Kyle Wagner. Number four, Kirk Peterson to the near side. Here's a quick throw out, and it looked like the uh, ball intended for Wearson, but Wearson, this looks like he took his eye off the ball there for a. Tried to run with it before yep. he caught it. Yep. Ball thrown a little bit high. Michael. Well, I don't know what kind of pass it was, but you most of the time when you see that, they, they just continue to go up the middle, mm -hmm. but he seemed to stop. Mm -hmm. Just like a little quick out pattern to Wearson or to, uh, and we'll have a procedure penalty here. Ball blown dead before the snap. So that'll make it third and about 14. Blue Devils uh, starting out, sputtering here a little bit. Number 21 for the boot uh, for the Bulldogs, Craig Jones, 6'2", 205 pound junior. Number 70 for the Bulldogs, Mike Sunderbrook. We've mentioned him tonight on a couple of tackles. Defensive back positions, number 49, Ryan Vulliger. Number four, Kirk. As, yeah, as well as Kirk Peterson, Kirk number Peterson. four. At the corner. Michael, third and 14. Over the middle, quick throw to, nicely done, uh, DJ Lorzell. And that's the kind of pattern Central needs to do where they don't need much blocking but a quick mm -hmm. pass. Quick, yeah, real quick throw. But a little bit short of the, picked up about 10, but it'll still be fourth and four. So Wilson will get attempting yet another punt with uh, Parker back to receive for the Bulldogs. And Bulldogs coming. 
and uh, hustle it uh, made Wearson hustle just a little bit on the punt and didn't get a pretty good one off but the Bulldogs will take over on their own 38 yard line first down pretty good field position 28 to 7 7 14 left here in the third quarter Actually, the punter has an unusual punt because he, he doesn't really have get set. He just tries to get it off as mm -hmm. quick as he can. Yeah, he just that time he did. That's for sure. He was he was being rushed pretty good. Cavill quarterbacking. Here's the give to Parker. Left side. Got some room. Just a little uh, look like a little light isolation play to the left side. Parker. When you notice when he when he heads directly for the line, he stays real low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if the defensive line can see him. Yeah. He stays so low. Yeah, Bendorf has their usual good size in the line. Here's a little counter tray coming up to the right side and uh, maybe a yard, but good D. And we got a Blue Devil down here. Number 77. And that's uh, number 77, John Fout. So we'll take a little break while they attend to him. Fouts is okay. He comes off the sideline and a quick throw out to, yep. Quick throw intended for Tony Bribriesco. Took a little bounce before it got there. So brings up a fourth down situation again for the Bulldogs inside their own 45 yard line should bring a punt situation. Deep for the Blue Devils, John Myers. We've seen Myers uh, reel off some pretty good returns tonight on kickoffs and punts. This is Peterson, Kirk Peterson back to kick. And a nice punt. Fair caught by Myers at his own 19 yard line. First down Blue Devils. So both teams just playing some pretty good defense right here. As of the first half, Parker had 84 yards and Pizarro had 46. So that's pretty kind of a pretty good balanced attack really. Your tailback twice as many yards as your fullback. But now Parker goes over on the sideline and he's cramped up a little bit over there. So Pardon me. Oh, it was. Okay, we've been informed that uh, might be a little knee problem, but we'll check on that later. At any rate, Blue Devils first down, 19-yard line. The trips formation. <laughs> ball thrown inside to Lorzell and ball caught. <laughs> Up to the 25 yard line, second and four. Well, Central so, has changed the kind of passing they're doing right mm -hmm. now. It's quick and short. Maybe as you mentioned, yeah, as you mentioned a while ago, the short throw, and he's got time to throw that. Right. Maybe it'll open up a running game and a long mm -hmm. pass. Mm -hmm. Mark Prashar uh, splits the left. Here's Michael to throw. Prashar oh, oh. wide open. Prashar wide open on the left side over there, and the ball hit him right in the numbers. Bad spot. Michael uh, leveled pretty good just as he threw the ball, but the ball was thrown perfectly. Third and four. The only worst place that could have hit him was uh, in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> and he might have had some running room. Because they flooded this side and they threw the other side. Mm -hmm. Clear them out over here. Uh oh, oh ball's ball up tipped for and hits the ground. That could have been dangerous. There again, Michael, no time to throw the ball. Fourth down and four, and the Blue Devils will have to punt it away. So it's battle of the punters right here. Well, that was a good idea, but uh, unfortunately for Central, the Bettendorf mm -hmm. defense had their hands up. Mm -hmm. Which is what you're supposed to do. Blue Devils uh, got too many men on the field, but he'll make it off in time. 
Wearson. Little, little quick on the punt and ball goes out of bounds at Bulldog 49 yard line and they're going to have some good field position here, Jess. So the 26 yard punt by Jeff Wearson, no return. The battle of the punting games right now, uh, I'd say advantage uh, Bettendorf at this point because of this field position right here. We got 5.05 left here in the third period. Scoreless second half, 28-7 Bulldogs. That's really been a pretty good football game. Cavill, I formation. Inside isolation. This is uh, number Riberesco, I believe. Yeah, number 24. So Parker did not come into this series. I remember him from the sophomore team. He was he was pretty good last mm -hmm. year. Ben Zilli on the tackle for the Blue Devils. Second three. Bribriesco hit number, pretty hard, but number 34 hit yep, him first. Yep. Hit pretty hard by uh Bribriesco. Tackled there by number 55, Troy Dore. Charlie Dore, it well, says on the tackle, but it looked like yeah, hit. yeah, 34. And we have 34 as Lorzell in our program, so. Third and two, one yard gain. Danny Phillips split to the near side. Drink all comes across the formation. And there's going to be a motion flag on the play, and Bribriesco busts himself loose for a run down to about the 34 yard line, but that's going to come back, I think. Well, one of the linemen looked like he was pointing, mm -hmm. had his hands up. Yep. So we got a little got a little mo penalty. They'll bring it back, and it'll be about third and seven. You could just see at that time uh, if you were watching the line that one of the linemen had their hands mm -hmm. up and was pointing to to one of his teammates to where he had to cover, and uh, that's where the penalty was. 3.30 and running here in the third quarter. It's been a good third quarter for Central. Mm -hmm. Back to throw is Cavill. Pretty good time to throw and kind of just got rid of it. He was pressured that time. Yeah, he was. Well, he had a little time early, but nobody, uh, nobody opened that. Again, that's good coverage by Davenport Central. They've done a nice job back there. John Myers uh, along with Landon Murray. Lorzell and Colin Davis, number nine. And punt formation, Peterson. Myers back to receive. And a nice high spiraling kick. And fumbled by ben ben Myers. And we have no indication. No, evidently, yeah. You know, I didn't see that. We they have, have not we, signaled who got the ball. There's a flag on the play. And we have a player down. And I'm not sure this might be a, against the defense for not allowing enough room for the receiver to catch that football. Well, once again, through the camera, I saw a Bettendorf player uh, Recover it, mm -hmm. but then a central player came up a mm -hmm. bit. So well, well, we do like have an injury there. Okay, we have a holding penalty on central. And we have a central player down, Jess. So let's take a little break right here. Fourth down will be replayed again. We had offsetting penalties holding by Central. Uh, fair catch interference by Bettendorf. And meanwhile, uh, Landon Murray goes off the field, uh, shaken up. 
and Central can ill afford to lose that young man because he's played a good game. So Peterson back to punt. Myers back to receive. Peterson uh, did a very good punt, all for not. And we'll try it again. And a lot of pressure by the Blue Devils, and Peterson gets the punt off. And Parker downs the ball for Bulldogs on the Blue Devil 18 yard line, first down. Two fifty two left in the third quarter, twenty eight to seven here in the third quarter at Brady Street Stadium. As Central, uh, as it looks like they're missing. Looks like they're missing a player here. No, it was just a delay of game penalty. <laughs> Michael didn't look like he had the play in from the sideline and didn't call one either until late. So at any rate, Jeff Wearson will bring the play in. You think we'll see that quick pass again? Well, short quick pass? That ball is down inside the 15-yard line. They better kind of get it out of there. As you were exactly right, Jess, a nice quick out there by, uh, looks like Myers caught that. Well, Miguel just needs a little bit of time. He can thread it. We know that. Well, it just seems to me that if, if they tried that, maybe from the start, a short, short quick pass to a, Give the quarterback a little mm -hmm. confidence, the line mm -hmm. a little confidence, give him, uh, give him a long drive, and maybe it'll open up some other things. Second 12. Central now in double tights with two, two flankers, and here's the fade pattern, and just overthrown, intended for Paul Austin. Pretty well covered by uh, Kirk Peterson. And Austin uh, starting to get a little cramp problem here tonight. I think that's what happened to Parker a while ago, but. <laughs> At any rate, Wearson back in the game, third and 12 for the Blue Devils. Adam Smith in at the free safety spot for the Bulldogs. Michael, a little bit behind, intended for Wearson. So fourth, fourth and 12. And again, Central punting for their own, deep in their own territory, and that hurts. Well, you know, we've talked about Central's defense today, but quietly, Bettendorf has had an outstanding defensive game. Mm -hmm. That they have. You're exactly right. But the good field position there will go to Bettendorf again. As the Bulldogs are having a little problem getting people on the field. <coughs> Wearson's punt fielded at the 48 yard line. Fumble. And the Blue Devils are there. And it'll be first down. First down, Blue Devils at the, at the Bettendorf 48 yard line. They really never indicated who had the ball, but it looked like Blue Devils did. So, so that's not too many mistakes by the Bulldogs tonight, but uh, Parker couldn't quite find a handle on it. First down, Blue Devils inside Bulldog territory. Michael. And if Michael puts a little air under that ball, Wearson scores because he had about four steps on the safety there. Yeah, the safety breathed a deep sigh mm -hmm. of relief when mm -hmm. that thing was short. 
Yeah, Peterson a bit out of position there. So second and ten. Central in the trips right formation again. Uh, Michael gives himself a little bit of oh intercepted intercepted by number 35 Andy McGuire the Bulldogs and Michael did the right thing get rid of the ball. The only problem is he should have thrown <laughs> he should have thrown a little bit further well, to the outside. Well, one of the few times he's moved out of the pocket. Yeah. Yep. So again, last, last, last the Blue Devils turn it over and the Bulldogs with good field position at the 47 yard line. First down. 137 to go in the third quarter. Cavill fakes a little bootleg and open on the far side is Drinkall and he's got great hands as we just saw there. First down at the 39 yard line. Drinkall, very talented young man. Great hands. Uh, Moved from his running back position last year. First down, Bulldogs. Parker, left side. A little bit of room, and we might get a whole call here. Parker picked well, up about six on the play, but the late flag came yeah. in. You're right. Yep. So that'll be 10 yard penalty from the spot. <laughs> Which will be uh, make it about first and uh, 19 here. As the official starts the clock, the referee starts the clock with one minute on the one minute and ticking. Danny Phillips brings a play in. Offset eye formation again. Here's Parker to the right side. Another flag. And generally in the backfield, that'll indicate some kind of offensive penalty. Probably a motion. Okay. So Mike Kowitzel, the uh, Blue Devil captain will set the Bulldogs back another five yards. First and a whole bunch now. 24, first and 24. Now here's a situation where Central does not want to allow a first down on this series. Otherwise, that's gonna, it's really gonna tear them, tear them down. Got the Bulldogs struggling here with some penalties. About 15 seconds to go. And Cavill will be back to throw the screen to Parker. And Parker hemmed in on the far side, but he'll get a few yards out of it. About eight. So Parker is showing his ability to juke people, picks up about eight yards on the uh, screenplay, and that'll end the third quarter, and we'll be back. <laughs>
Well, we start the final quarter here at Brady Street Stadium uh, as the uh, Bulldogs take a 28-7 lead into the fourth quarter over Davenport Central. Second down and about 17 after a series of penalties by the Bulldogs. So they need to settle down. And they'll get an easy five yards back from that offside penalty. And while they march that off, we'll take a look at the games happening this week. Uh, Thursday night game, Muscatine at North High School here at Brady Street. And on Friday night, Clinton will be at West. Bettendorf will be at Pleasant Valley, another big game. And Central will be out at Eldridge at North Scott High School. Going into the third week of the season. Second 12. Cavill back to throw. A lot of time and wide open drink all. Touchdown. Bulldogs. And what a nice throw. And what a nice catch, Jess. And a nice throw, good catch. Oh, just laid it out there and drink all. Just ran underneath it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he's not going to drop too many when he's wide no. open. No. No. No, he doesn't get to handle the ball near enough this year for him, so anything near him, he's going to snag. 34-7. to seven. We were commenting there earlier uh, in that series that we thought that Davenport Central needed to hold him there and not let him get a first down, let alone the touchdown. PAT is attempted and good by Lowenberg, 35-7, 11.52 to go in the fourth. Ready? We're back. And another, another good kick by David Hanlon. Kicks it in the end zone. Myers, no chance to return as we mentioned before anything, any ball that crosses the goal line is not returnable. So first down Blue Devils on their own 20. 35-7. Michael under center. Back to throw. Not much time again. And he'll elect to keep it and lose a couple while he does it. Michael on the carry. No gain. Tackled by number 43, Zach Gableman. So Central goes to the no huddle offense. And again, suppose uh, Coach Culver will be working on his pass protection a little bit this week, I'd say as Michael is sacked for maybe the 12th time tonight. Third and 16. Well, timeout by Central, they're confused. And Central will have to take a timeout to get a sub in, so we'll take a timeout. <laughs> 10.58 on the clock. Third down and uh, 16 for Central. And looked like looked like a missed handoff or an option play developing, but it really couldn't tell with the penetration of the uh, Bettendorf defensive lineman. Tackled by Sunderbrook of Bettendorf. And now it's fourth and a ton for the Blue Devils. And Wearson has kicked at least five times from his own end zone tonight. And fair catch by Parker indicated at the 42 yard line. First down Bendorf. So the, the Blue Devils will take over with 10 15 here in the fourth quarter 35 to 7. Davenport, Davenport Central having some shades of good football tonight, but 
made a few mistakes and uh, need to shore up their pass protection. Here's Cavill. And a good tackle in there. Ball carried by Brubiesco. Looked like Frankie March on the tackle. Well, Ben Dover's, Dover's going to be 2-0, and, oh, and that's a good start for the new coach. Mm -hmm. That it is. <laughs> that wouldn't be say? an all-bad situation. Would yeah. it just move what do they in say? And... The tradition continues? Uh -huh. Now, here's Pisano moving over to the wing back and just get him out there blocking sooner, I guess. And this is Brubriesco across the 40 down to the Close to the 39 yard line. Third and about. Well, this is the start of the second week of the season, Cy. <laughs> gonna, put, gonna put you on the line here. Okay, do that. Who, who do you think looks good for the rest of the season? Well, I know it's early, but. Right, we haven't seen, uh, we haven't seen North Scott, we haven't seen Pleasant Valley, but we've heard they both have fine football teams along with Muscatine. And we know Bettendorf's tough. We've seen them tonight play good football. And we know Assumption's tough because we've seen them. So, uh, you know, we have four and five teams here we're talking about. And Davenport West, we haven't seen them yet. Right. And uh, so uh, we got a lot of football to play in the conference, obviously, just here in the second season. But uh, Well, after this week, some of that's going to be shaken out again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. We don't, uh, as we speak, we don't know what this, how the the outcome of the Pleasant Valley Assumption game, but that'll have some impact on the conference. That's for sure. As we go into fourth and five for the Bulldogs, and they'll line up to go for it, and it'll cost them five yards to do it because uh, one of the linemen got a little hasty. So I thought I evaded that question pretty good. Yeah, you did. Thank, thank you. you did. Thank you. Thank you. Fourth and nine. So well, you uh, know, I think North Scott would like to come back and prove that that last year was wasn't just for exactly one year. right. Exactly right. Uh, Assumption would like to get themselves back in the playoffs. Uh, Bettendorf would like to continue to be in the playoffs. Sounds like uh, North Scott has another running back uh, to replace uh, Sean Stinner, one of the finest backs in a conference last year. And a nice punt by Peterson. Drops, going to drop dead on about the, and uh, oh, a great play to keep that ball out of the end zone. Who is that? That's Parker. What a great hustle. If Andy Parker tips the ball back out into the playing before, Field before it crosses the goal line, Jess. It's legal to down the ball in inside the playing field, which they did at what the two yard line. Well, Central really has her backs to the wall uh -huh. now. And substitutes or not. Central with the ball on her own two yard line. It's very tough to move the ball down there because you're pretty limited. Because you don't want to give another cheap touchdown away. And Michael has been sacked a few times and he gets up to about the four on the sneak. Well, I think going back to uh, who looks good this year, mm -hmm. there's a key game next week between Pleasant Valley and Bettendorf that, mm -hmm. that uh, you kind of shake out uh, what happens the rest of the season. Exactly right. Big game over at uh, Pleasant Valley, I believe. <coughs> and another... Of course, Pleasant Valley has a big game tomorrow, too. That's true. That's true. So the next two weeks for Pleasant Valley mm -hmm. could be very important. Yeah, as and we got a penalty here. Might be unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, too busy, uh, too busy shooting the breeze. Personal foul, Bettendorf, and I have an idea. Randy Scott is not going to like that very well. 
got uh, Davenport Central pretty well backed up in their own territory, and then you give them a then you give them a first down. Well, actually, he pointed the wrong way. So the personal foul went against the Blue Devils. And it doesn't make any difference. Chuck Culver's not going to like it either. <laughs> well, third and about eight. Inside their own five yard line, Michael back to throw. A little bit of time, but throws it behind the receiver. Another and now we got another flag. Michael pass to John Meyer, incomplete. And now this and is that one is against Bettendorf. So the game uh, getting a little sloppy here, and that gives the Blue Devils. That's going to be a 15, or that'll give them a first down. Well, the indication on that, I didn't see who it was, and it doesn't make any difference, but I see somebody run back to the other side. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can always tell a personal foul penalty because the referees or the, the uh, stripe at church flag goes about 30 feet in the air. You know, any other penalty, it just kind of drops on the floor, but the personal foul penalties, those flags are flying high. 6.24 on the clock. First down central at their own 19. So Bettendorf on the big penalty lets them out of the hole down there. And not much going on. A lot of blue shirts blocking, a lot of white shirts tackling. What more can you say? Colin Davis bringing a play in for the Blue Devils. Michael, quick pattern to Myers, and he'll pick up three or four. Third and six. Game dragging out a bit at this point. Would you agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... Michael back to throws the fade and a oh, nice catch, I believe. To John 18. Myers and Michael throws a successful fade pattern. I didn't think he was going to get there. He just Is seemed it, to be overthrown. Yeah, he just. Well, John Myers is six foot two, so he's got good height. Was able to lay out and catch the ball. That was a nice catch. So first down, Blue Devils at the Bulldog 48, and a lot of. Uh, I wish shouldn't say a lot, but a few new shirts in the game for for. Uh, Bettendorf and a quick out pattern intended for Paul Austin. A little bit high, throwing a little high. Second and ten. Well, I was I was going to make the comment about Central's passing game is, you know, mo most teams seem to either run in or out, and the, and the receivers always moving. You know, they they, they angle in mm -hmm. or angle out or down the field, and they're moving and. Uh, Central seems to have a lot of passing plays where the receiver seems to just go to a point, turn around, and stop. Yep, the quick, the quick outs. And all right, here's Frankie March, and he'll pick up a yard. So third and nine. I would just kind of like to see what would happen if that. Receiver cut in and just continued to go and mm -hmm. cut mm -hmm. cut the uh, secondary in two there and just well you might if, get to if see the quarterback that. could get it there yeah if always oh, we've, we've seen all night he hadn't really had time to to do a whole lot and here is Frankie March and this is a big running back and he's a big strong young man 
bowls his way down to the 30 yard line of Bendorf. Well, that was just an outstanding play by the running back because uh -huh. he did a lot of that himself. Once he got through the line, um, which the line gave him the hole, but there was a lot of defense, Bendorf uh, defenders there that couldn't bring him down. Right. Bowled a couple of people over on his way there. So first down uh, about on about the 29 of Bendorf. 357 and running. 35 to 7 is a score here. Bulldogs. Michael back to throw and another uh, oh. incomplete. That looked like a nice throw and Myers Myers couldn't handle it. Well, you talk about threading the needle. Mm -hmm. well, you could say you could say one of two things. He was either threading the needle or he was throwing into throwing into the defense because. Uh, there's two defenders right there. Well, we're also seeing right now you get you get this, you get Michael a little time to throw, he can thread it. Double tights, double flankers. Gives to Frankie March. Eh, get a yard maybe. Frankie March gets a carry for a yard. Tackle there by Zach Gableman. Zach Gableman on tackle for the Bulldogs. Third and nine. Michael throws the fade, but he throws it to Bedendorf. And good defensive effort down there after the pick. <laughs> there was the receiver uh, in defense of the referees here. The receiver really was not stopped. He was still making forward motion. Well, I guess I guess my question would be why there wasn't some kind of clip because the other guy come along and he, he thr tried every which way but loose to try to, <laughs> to try to get his man loose yep. and uh and i think we have an injury yeah i i couldn't see who's down we'll take a break well ball picked off by bettendorf and austin makes a tackle uh, at about the five yard line finally and now we'll have a uh, the ball's blown dead by the officials, and we had a little problem there, equipment problem. Well, we have a little time. I want to thank again the uh, the uh, activities director at Central yes, High School, Marty Lance. We appreciate the appreciate yeah. this press box room that we get, so we can and I also get the seen, kids on TV and and also seen Mark Brooks earlier. Uh huh. Here's Parker, I believe. Out to about the 14. Second and uh, two. Actually, throughout the year, we have a, a lot of cooperation from the athletic directors of the, of the Quad Cities. Mm -hmm. Without them, we couldn't do this. Yes, that's, that's for sure. We certainly appreciate that. Like to give our viewers a chance to see Mac football on TV and the kids see themselves as Parker gets another handoff and runs it out to about the 29 yard line. First down, Bulldogs. So as the change gets set, then the clock starts. There'll be 2:10 on the clock. And I'll tell you what, I, Central has played a respectable ball game tonight. I realize they're not happy with the score, and Chuck Cover is not going to be happy with a loss. But on the other hand, just a couple of things, a uh, couple of big mistakes by Central, and this game's a lot closer than the score indicates. I agree. I agree. We mm -hmm. talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. If they uh, get their pass protection shored up and give Michael some time, they're going to be okay. Here is... Uh, a handoff to Bribriesco up the middle for no gain. Second 10, 140 on the clock. Well, it's time to start thinking of our player of the game, so I went Oh, yeah. Well. 
I would guess uh, uh, Parker has probably got a hundred and over, uh, easily over a hundred yards tonight. And but uh, the big fullback Pazanos look good too. So either one of those kids for Bendorf. Flag on the play. Bribresco with the ball and. He might have picked up a half a yard before about 12 uh, Blue Devils made the tackle. Uh, Cavill, the quarterback for Bendorf, done a nice job. And I'll tell you what, the punter, Wearson, the punter for, for he's Central. Put, he's put him in yeah, a good field position all, all night. Probably had 10, 10 punts tonight that has done a nice job of getting the ball off. And uh, Hanlon, the kickoff kickoff man for uh, Bettendorf. So what I'm doing here, uh, the, the, how I'm evading this question is that Once I think again, there's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, we haven't really seen any one player. I mean, real outstanding. They've all played pretty well is what I'm trying to say. This is Bribriesco with 45 seconds to go on a little gainer. Third and a bringing up third down. New quarterback for Bettendorf is Josh Guffey. Gives to Bribresco, who's pushed out of bounds at about the 39. Knocked out of bounds by James Green of the Blue Devils. 15 seconds remaining. Well, before the season is over, I think you're going to see Central with a couple of W's. Yeah, I do too. I agree with you. I, I think they got uh, they got a a team that can get a couple of wins, and if they get a couple of wins under, maybe they can. Fire up for a couple more. Who knows? Bet North obviously got a good basis for a team, and that'll cost a. <laughs> I don't think uh, it didn't look like Jesse Virgil, the center for Bet North, had the handle on that ball. He kind of moved it back, so a little procedure call. But anyway, uh, Bet North has a fine football team, no question about it. Virgil gives to Ribriesco, who slips down, and that should be the final play of the game with the Bettendorf Bulldogs uh, beating the Davenport Central Blue Devils 35 to 7 here at Brady Street Stadium uh, for for uh, Jess Medina and AT&T Cable Services and Family Ties Production. I'm Cy Robinson. Thanks for joining us.